What's going on YouTube? Landon Huffman here back with another video. Today I've got an absolute banger for you guys. So I'm here in my basement, my dad's trophy room of sorts. Uh, it, lately it's been an apartment for someone, but it's getting back to how it used to be. We're cleaning it out. I'm down here going through all of his old racing suits, all of his old jackets, old clothing, and I've got it all out in front of you and I'm going to show you guys what I found. We've got some Toyota history here. We've got some goodies dash history. We've got family history of mine. These are some of my favorite pieces that he's ever worn. It's so cool for me to go back and look at all these things and relish, you know, the time he spent as a race car driver. So I can't wait to show you guys this. Let's get into it. I just want to take a moment before we get into the video thank you to everyone that has been following the channel here lately pushing us forward we crushed 5,000 subscribers we're on our way to 5,500 now if you haven't already make sure you smash that like button if you enjoy vintage racing if you enjoy restoration videos if you enjoy short track racing in general make sure you smash that subscribe button as well and uh let's get into the video guys I'm pumped about this one all right all right all right as you see I have got loads of suits in front of me I found more helmets I've got stuff in the floor I'm going to go through these individually, talk a little bit about each one, and we're just going to see kind of where the video goes. But I've got stuff from the early 80s all the way through Toyota's initiation into the NASCAR truck series. So let's get into it. All right, I'm going to start in the floor just because I know these are some of his very first suits. Uh, also one on the table, but this Staff America suit right here was a sportsman suit that he wore in the mid to late 80s at Charlotte. I don't know if you guys remember the Sportsman Series, but it was basically Winston Cup cars with a crate motor or a smaller engine in it, more like a late mile stock engine at the time. And they raced on tracks like Charlotte. Uh, I think they ran they ran Dover, maybe a couple other bigger tracks as well. But he won a lot of races in this. Uh, Charlotte, I think he won two or three, maybe more Sportsman races in this Staff America suit. So I do know that that is from the 87, 88, 89 season, even early 90s, 90, 91, somewhere around there. This suit, I believe, was potentially a Bush Series suit. I think this might have been a Molly Black Gold suit. I really don't know. Uh, it doesn't have anything on it, obviously. Maybe he just wore it as a test deal. I really have no idea, but that could have been his Bush suit or one of them from the early 90s. I found some of these jackets in there too, and these closets right here are full of stuff. There's trophies all in this room, by the way, uh, which maybe we can get to in another video at some point in time when all these clothes and this bed right here and all this other stuff's out. But this was a uh, a driver jacket he had with six tire center on the back. This was I know was from the late model stock days uh, at Hickory Motor Speedway in Tri County, and six tire. They have been great family friends to ours. They're still sponsoring my race cars today to this day. But to find this jacket was really, really cool. I actually found another one in there that was a crew jacket. Um, but this one obviously says Robert Huffman driver with a good wrench all over it. I have no idea why he had this, but I guarantee you some people would go crazy over this. This is an original Petty Enterprises Thunderbird when 7-Eleven was the sponsor there. Original jacket. Check the back out. 7-Eleven Ford Motorsport. I don't know what it's worth or it's pretty small too. So I don't know if dad had it as a kid or dad was a pretty small dude coming through uh, high school and his early years as a driver too. So maybe it was just his at the time, but I found that. And then I also found another one of his sponsors, Mr. Velvet, which was a car care center. I found this like satin jacket, really cool. He used to wear that, I'm sure. <clears throat> and then we've got a goodies dash suit here i believe this was from mid 90s i'm gonna say around 95 i need to confirm with him and let him tell me exactly what all these are from because i do have plans with them but see that old simpson logo on there i thought that was really cool and uh old simpson right there in the tag so very cool i do believe this was a, a goodies dash suit as you can see there's the old blow up 37 car. You think that was so cool. There's so many pictures and just really, really cool stuff around this room. I don't want to make this, you know, a video on the room, but, you know, all of his Daytona trophies right there, uh, Dash Championship trophies, all kinds of stuff in here. So we'll get to that one day. It's really, really cool for me to talk about it. But right now we're going to focus on the suits. 
So this was actually a painting that I found that somebody gave him of his 90, 1990 dash car. And if you guys remember, I ran the cars tour race at Hickory, the throwback race this year, and we actually threw back to this very car. So I thought that was really cool. Might put it up in my streaming room somewhere in there. Otherwise, it's just sitting down here collecting dust. I also found this jacket, Robert Huffman, 1990 NASCAR Dash Champion. It's just a, uh, I don't know if he had this made, somebody made it for him or if it was given to him, but it's definitely been worn. So thought that was really cool. I also found another uh, championship helmet from late models down here. This was from 88, so it would have been Hickory for him. So I got to get all those in a case, just like the other helmets that I've got. And if you guys missed or if you didn't get to see my helmet video, I'll link that in the description and in the comments. I'll pin it. But I went through all of Dad's helmets that I've got collected up, and I've got them in cases in my apartment. So I talked about that in that video. Let's get into these suits. All right, so I essentially have over a decade of White House apple juice racing right here. This was the original White House suit that he had, and I like this suit so much that I kind of want to have my suit for this year made with this checkerboard pattern across the middle like just an exact replica of this but in different colors or whatever the sponsor you know pending sponsors on the suit would be match the colors on it but i just think this vintage style i feel like this is so such a 90s look it's got that nascar 50th anniversary patch on it really really cool so this would have been 98 and uh he had just got white house in 95 so I'm not exactly sure where that first suit is, but this was uh, was one of the original ones. So unless, this could have been the suit, actually, and they just added that patch for the 98 season. But very, very cool. I love that suit. Uh, I'm going to show you guys something in there real quick that matches this suit and this suit. But I'm going to show you now since it matches this one predominantly. I'm going to drop a photo right here in between this cut of uh, actually the first throwback race I ever ran at Hickory for uh the cars tour i threw back to that white house car and all of my guys all of the guys that helped me on the race car wore these old crew uniforms that i'm about to show you which was really really cool because i have a lot of my friends that helped me on my race car their dads actually worked on my dad's dash car so it's like two generations very very cool but i'm gonna show you these crew uniforms check this out so this was from dad's late model days huffman racing team 75 you know, we love those vibes. Absolutely love those vibes. Also, a badass Bush NASCAR jacket and another uh, another Robert Huffman jacket. But here is the crew uniforms that match that suit. I love that, man. It's so simple, but so 90s. The big white house on the back. Very, very cool. So we have that crew uniform, which, as you can see, there are two variations. That's this one right here, which was the, the late 90s one. And then this was the early 2000s Toyota fit right here. Has Toyota on the back. So I love that as well. Kind of get to see the evolution of the white house racing brand, especially, you know, since TRD joined. All right, so we had this suit, then we're going to jump this one, boom, then we had this one. This one was late 90s, early 2000s, prior to Toyota. It's still in the dry cleaners bag, which is so cool to me. Straight from the dry cleaners, Robert Huffman, White House Apple Juice. The bag actually had nothing on it, so I don't even know if he really ran this suit for a very long time, but it was the in-between suit between this one and the toyota one i'm about to show you so really really cool i love that it's still in the in the uh the wash packaging i think that's that's so cool you can see the evolution of the goodies dash logo too this was you know like i said in the 90s and then it jumped over to this 2000s look right here so you could definitely tell a difference but now we're going to move on to toyota's entry into nascar here is the first ever toyota suit very, very cool. I actually wore this suit uh, when we threw back to that car, which was awesome. I'll drop a picture in there now, but this is also one of my favorite suits. The flames, kind of hard to go wrong with the flames. You know, the White House colors were so interesting. Yellow and green, you didn't see that on a race car very often. So being bright or yellow, red, and green, 
being so bright, I felt like it always made for for really cool uniforms. As you can see on the legs here, it's got the flames riding up them as well. So that was Toyota's entry into NASCAR. This was 2001. He wore this suit through 2003. This was the first or the last NASCAR Goodies Dash Series champion suit, and the very first NASCAR championship for Toyota right here. Before I get into the other Toyota stuff, I do want to show you guys this suit. This is one of my favorite suits as well. I actually think, now looking at it, I think this was the 1990 suit that he drove with that car. And then the orange suit that's on the floor over here, that was his 95 suit or 94 suit before he got White House. So that was the dash suit prior to this. But this suit right here was his championship suit, the original one, and also his late model suit which I think this thing is so damn cool too. It's got the Charlotte Daytona Dash series on there. So that was circa 1990. That was before it was Goody's Dash. Got the Robert Huffman up here in the uh, cursive, which I think is really cool. And, uh, you know, all these old suits just had big contingency patches all over them, <laughs> which is sick. But nothing crazy about it other than uh, the, the red stripe down the sleeve. Still one of my favorite suits of dads. They're honestly all my favorite. But now we're going to jump into the Toyota stuff. This was a 2005 truck suit for Toyota. This was right when he made the switch over to Darrell Waltrip. Actually, I think this was his original Toyota suit right here. Original truck series suit. I think this is the one that he's taking pictures in in that original Toyota postcard. I'll have to see if I can find that where all the guys are walking. Try right over here. Hold on. Yeah, right there she is. So that's the suit. Obviously, it's got IMI on it. Um, that suit has a Daryl Waltrip patch over top of it, but that was the original Toyota truck suit. They all had one. So they stuck that Daryl Waltrip patch over it when he switched teams. But that was the plain suit. Now we're going to move on to my favorite of his truck suits, which was his 2005 Tundra Daryl Waltrip Motorsports 95 to 05 Craftsman Truck Series logo on there. Um, all the Toyota insignia. This was also a Simpson, which this was Sparco. So I don't know if he just didn't have a deal. He's ran Simpson his whole life. Um, so I just thought that was interesting. I love the Tundra on the legs on this one. I think that's such a sick touch. But this suit's fantastic. It's got the red flames. He wore this in 05 which was his last year in the truck series. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, here, I'll show you guys the back. Nothing crazy on the back, just Tundra. And uh, no flames or anything on the back, minus the sleeves. So this next suit, again, if you guys watched that helmet video, you guys seen his pro celebrity helmet where he got, si he got it signed by all the drivers and celebs that were in the race. Well, here is the 2001 Toyota pro celebrity race suit and i actually didn't realize that he still had this and i found it when i was going through all of this stuff and it's just another kick-ass suit they had that covered up i don't really know why i think it had a bridgestone on it and because he's a nascar driver maybe they covered it up but it's got the uh, 25th anniversary of the toyota uh celebrity race it's got the celica on there kick-ass little car um really really cool suit i would love to get this framed up with uh with that helmet displayed with it. So if you guys are new to the channel, that's something that I take pride in is trying to preserve my family's history. It really means a lot to me. Uh, my dad's racing career, I was very young and there wasn't a lot of, uh, I guess, time for me to really appreciate it. So now that I'm older and I've raced myself and I still race myself, this is the type of thing that really gets me going. I love this type of stuff. I wanna be able to preserve it, present it to dad and uh, make him you know, understand that I really do appreciate his time as a driver as well. So I actually seen Steve Carnes on Twitter. He posted a picture of a gift from Jeremy Clements of a driver's suit that was framed up nice and everything. And I was like, man, I really want to do that with dad's stuff. And that would be something really cool for me to give him one day, you know, all nice and framed up custom frame with a plaque with the year and all that good stuff on there. Um, so that's kind of my plan. We'll see how it goes. I know they're expensive, but I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to being able to continue to preserve this stuff. And like I said, I have all his helmets and now we're, now we're restoring his race shop. You know, if you guys that have been watching my channel know that I'm restoring his old shop. So I'm excited about that. 
and we're just going to keep on plugging away. My grandma actually painted that of dad. Grandma's very talented. A lot of cool stuff in here. Here's my race car from 2015. There's me as a little tyke. <laughs> I had the old White House number 37 go-kart as well. I was a little fat thing. Look at that. Here's the uh, 2003 champions. All at uh, the champions banquet signed by everybody. Thought that was awesome. Matt Kenseth's on there. Andy Santer. Dad signed it, obviously. A bunch of other cool people. Here's a picture from Dad at uh, at the Pro Celebrity Race. Yeah, it had Bridgestone and his name on there, and for some reason it was covered up. So I might try to take that patch off because his name's covered up. It's interesting. April 7th, 2001. 25th anniversary of the Toyota Pro Celebrity Race. If you made it this far in the video, I definitely want to hear your opinion on which of Dad's suits that I have laid out here is your favorite. I have my personal favorites, but honestly, it's kind of hard to pick because each one carries its own significance, and he won races in every single one of them. So I uh, I don't know, man. I love this type of stuff. I, I just really want to thank you guys for hanging out with me, I feel like, during these videos and, and watching and uh, tuning in, supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot. Uh, this is kind of a new avenue for me, and YouTube's helped me sort of branch out and, you know, target a different audience, and a lot of you guys are finding what I do for the first time because of this YouTube channel. So thank you guys for that. Again, if you haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. We are doing this right here all the way up. So I uh, appreciate you guys again. If you're watching this on Christmas Eve or Christmas, have a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I uh, appreciate you guys. Y'all have a fantastic one. I'm out. Peace.